Going back anyway, profiling, profiling, max speed. I know a lot of people in the UK would actually give their right arm to be able to feature on a track with them. So how did that come about for you? Well, the max speed track, is, it's kind of mad how I met him. It was like fate, you know? Believe, that's why I believe in the most high, that like, things happen for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. I was in New York and I was linking my girl mate. There was a Jewel at the time. And I'm out there for a holiday for my birthday. And um, I was in a club like the day before my birthday. Drinking bottles, popping bottles with one of my boys called Daffos from East London. We was just drinking, having a good time, you know what I'm saying? Day before my birthday, and then the DJ must have announced Max B coming in the building or stepped in the building. So I'm a big Max B fan at that point. I was a big, big, from back in the day when, when like, back in the day when Max B was on a track with, um, with Cam dissing, dissing Jay Z. I was a fan back then, and I used to tell niggas, oh, this nigga's crazy, this nigga's crazy. So it was a big deal for me. I was more of a fan, like, so, you know what I'm saying? When I heard he was in the building, I was like, I want to meet him. So as soon as he walked in, I was drunk and I must have walked downstairs. You know I'm saying, walked through the crowd, boom, 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 and I must have seen him. Cause I was so lean, I just went straight up to him, like, oh, I'm going, boom, 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 hey, you old gang, boom, boom, boom. And then he was like, oh, what's going on, boom, boom, boom. And then Tone, I think, was his security manager, was like, oh, you're a VIP? I was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, upstairs, come and talk to us upstairs. So went back upstairs. Obviously, I wanted to stunt, because here in America, they're all about face value, like, what you do, you know what I'm saying? So I caught, bought another three bottles, you know what I'm saying? $500, yeah. mucky, you see it? 500 to spunk, $500 just, but it worked. But anyway, I spunked that, bought some more bottles, popped a bottle, give him, give him a glass, poured him a glass, started chopping up with him. At that time, um, Mega May were going, you know what I'm saying? I, I was around them in a dipset thing, and I weren't really feeling certain movements and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get into it, because that's not my business. It's their business to tell you, yeah? But I was chopping up with Bigger Bell, and, you know what I'm saying? Chopped it up, talking about certain man, and boom, boom, boom. Felt the vibe. I took his number. He left the club. Took Styles in there the same night. Uh, he left the club and then a holiday the next day. I was like, yeah, boom, boom, boom. I want to get a chat with you. He's like, yeah, it's nothing. Boom, boom, boom. Went to the studio. We recorded him. Wavy, wavy hook. I took some, some birth there, Clee Cole. Mixed it with the Remy, that grand crew. And then the man just got wavy in there. And he's done the hook for me. And got profiling. <laughs> See ya. Just like that. Just like that. And then a year later, I went back to New York and shot the video with him. Like, it was three weeks before he got locked up. And he said, hey, 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 where, where you want to shoot, shoot, where you want to shoot a shot at? And I was like, boy, I want to go to 140 for Lennox, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's a legendary place where Big Earl's from, where Vardo's from, where Cam's from. So I went there, shot the video, and that's what's come out last week. Go and, go and see that, man, on YouTube. Type in Hayes, featuring Max B profiling, you know what I'm saying? It's um, history in the making still. No one really wants to support it, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I see the haters out there. It's not even the fans, it's, it's, it's the artists. The artists are scared. That's what it seems like. It seems like not scared, just intimidated. But you're gonna support me, bruv. Like, like the way I'm looking at it is like I, I'm trying to I wanna bring the real English rap game into the real American rap game. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's our time. We need a section in this real rap game, innit? Like, and that's what we're trying to bring forth. That's what, that's what SAS has been trying to bring forth from the beginning. Through all the trials and tribulations, everything we've been through. It's like, no one sees that, do you understand what I'm saying? When are you going to see it? When, when we actually make it happen? And then jump on our nuts. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't to the fans, because I love the fans that support. This, this is to the rappers, innit? The fake niggas, innit? That you think are probably good rappers, but deep down they're just some snaky, moist waste man that just chat shit, yeah? But let's get back to the positive, yeah? Yeah, no, it's definitely a different game out there, man. Do you know what? Yeah, actually you got me starting there, boy. I was gonna um, start commenting, but I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Uh, right, so what's been your biggest achievement? You've been doing it for a long time. What's your biggest achievement so far? Uh, my biggest achievement is... My my achievement comes from when people listen to my music or I see someone on road on my ends and they'll say, right, oh, hey, oh, you still gonna use I'll be like, yeah, like, oh, that shit, that out, that mixtape is crazy. That's my achievement, you understand what I'm saying? Like, money and all that, like, I'll, we'll get that in it. Like, it's, it's in us, it's in me to get that, you understand what I'm saying? So, I, I ain't really got no really big, big achievements money-wise from, from music, but probably just, just, yeah, people's reactions to my music is probably the biggest, the biggest achievement so far, you know? Yeah. Cool. I hear that, all right. Saying, um, you're saying like it's not really a money thing as well. So, that's kind of your achievement. What's your aim? Are you like yeah. looking for like, yeah, I'm gonna get loads of money and get off this, or are you looking for like a, Two pack biggie, like they didn't make a lot of dough, but when they went there, they're notorious. What's your aim on this? Yeah, my aim, my aim is to be remembered, isn't it? Obviously, first and foremost, it's like I know money don't mean nothing, it's all materials, isn't it? But obviously, 
I want to live a happy life, a good life, and I want my family to be straight, I want my mum to be straight, I want my kids, if I want our kids, I want them to be straight, my, my wife needs to be straight, my sister, I want everyone to be straight, so I do want money from it, you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to be on the roads, innit? But, first and foremost, I want to be known, I want to be a great one day, you understand what I'm saying? I want, I want, I want people 10 years down the line to be saying, right, hey, see what you're talking about back then? Bro, he was talking about that shit back then, you know what I'm saying? How do you listen to Two Tap now? Because what it is, a lot of my music goes over people's heads, and I know it does. You know what I'm saying? You have to listen closely to what, what I'm saying, and, 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 and the, the subjects I touch. But that's my aim, to be to be a real legend in the game, really and truly. You know what I'm saying? And just touch people's lives, and help people, you know what I'm saying? Through the struggle, whatever struggle you're going through. Cool. Alright, wrapping up, what question we like to ask everyone that comes in the studio, though. What's your biggest pleasure? So what makes you get up every single day and say, right, I'm gonna keep on doing this? And what's your biggest pain? So what makes you think, oh, do you know what? I need to quit, I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> what, music-wise? That's yeah, a good question. Music -wise. What pleasure are playing music? Yeah. Well, the biggest pleasure is um, how I feel after I recorded the track and then seeing someone's reaction to the track I just recorded. That's the pleasure. The pain is, 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 Guy in the studio, put it, flinging money down and putting all this money into the music thing, you know what I'm saying, over a period of time, and looking looking at it like, bro, I could have done something to financially better myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? All them bags, I could have got a mortgage with, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, that's not what I want to do, I want to follow my passion, but at the end of the day, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. My niggas around me are driving big cars and they got a couple more mortgages, you know what I'm saying? What have I got? What CDs? Obviously, in the long run, it means more. But sometimes you can remember like, raw, oh, is it really worth it? So that's, that's probably the pain. I hear that. All right, so last of all, we've got to give you that chance to plug what you got at the moment. Let people know where they can get you at if you've got Facebook, Twitter, and them kind of things there. Right now, Breath of Fresh Air Deluxe is on iTunes. Go get that, $6.99. Do it! Make sure you do it. Make sure, man. This is, this is, this is 20, 20, 20 solid tracks, 20 tracks, original production. Mix the master, you know what I'm saying? I've got Max B on there, I've got uh, SAS on there, I've got Blade on there, I've got Timber on there, Pac Man, Villain, you know what I'm saying? Go get that. And then I've got um, Profile and Future Max B, I've got the single on iTunes as well, 79 pence, man. Go and get that, man, 79p, that's not, even, that's not even a bag of chips. Like, go get that, man, it's a classic, trust me. Go get that. And then you can catch me on Twitter at Hayes the Truth, T H E, at Hayes the Truth. Uh, my Facebook is Haze the Truth as well, and MySpace is MySpace forward slash Haze Eurogame. But more time I'm on Twitter, so at Haze the Truth, go follow me right now.